Hello, oh, sweetheart. I'm so glad you're alive. Oh, you gotta tell me everything that happened. I mean, not tonight, because I got plans with the guys, but tomorrow night I want to hear all about it. Peter, didn't you hear what I said? Stewie tried to kill me. Mom, Stewie's just a baby. No, he's not, Meg. He's evil. He shot me point blank right on the deck of the cruise ship. <laughs> treated my wounds and carried me to safety. It sounds romantic, I know, but unfortunately he was kind of the reverse of what you'd expect a merman to be. I wish to make love to you. Oh, uh, no, thank you. What are you talking about? I thought this was a woman's fantasy. Yeah, but this is sort of the opposite. Like if you had a man's body and fish legs, then it'd be different. Yeah, but then I wouldn't have a penis. Well, but I... See, there you go. I just poked a huge hole in your logic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna have to say no. Maybe I feel like you owe me a little. Ah, damn it! Unfortunately, I was suffering from total amnesia and had no idea who I was. After wandering around for a while, I discovered I was in North Carolina, where I managed to get a job at a summer camp for fat kids. It was my job to keep the children from eating each other. Hey! Hey! No! No, 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 no! Spit him out! Jeffrey! Spit him out now! And Mike, you spit out Timmy! Over the next several months, I developed a relationship with a seemingly nice young townie named Derek. Eventually, he got comfortable enough with me to introduce me to his friends. That's how I found out he was a white supremacist. Okay, first order of business. Uh, I'd like to thank Paul and Tracy, who have agreed to bring cookies for next week's Punch Social. Uh, just remember, you two, Fred is allergic to peanuts. Peanuts and Jews. <laughs> no, but Jews are bad. You know, it's remarks like that that started the Holocaust, and I know none of us want that to happen again. <laughs> and after that blow to the head, it all started coming back to me. So I rushed back to Quahog, and here I am. So, what you're saying is we've got a homicidal baby on our hands. 